Moçambique é um país bastante rico, é bastante rico. No entanto, temos um país com muita cultura, muita riqueza, muita tradição. Todas as províncias têm a sua cultura, têm um ritmo tradicional e extremamente bonito de ver, de assistir. Sou muito apaixonada pela dança, pela música e gosto dos movimentos uh, do corpo. Mas dá também uma sensação de uma paz, de um alívio, uh, uma sensação de quem está a voar, uma sensação de quem não pisa o chão. Moçambique, uh, depois da colonização, está agora no processo de desenvolvimento, sobretudo na área cultural, criativa, mas com o tempo nós vamos conseguindo melhorar algumas coisas. Sou a diretora executiva da XIAP, que é a primeira incubadora de negócios culturais e criativos a nível nacional. O projeto XIAB foi financiado pelo Sound Connect Fund e MIAF Music in Africa Foundation. Sound Connect Fund is um, a multifaceted um, developmental initiative that we have been doing together with the Good Institute since 2020. The core focus of this initiative is to strengthen the, um, the, the region, um, the, the culture and creative industries in Southern Africa. So Sound Connects Fund comes with um, a few key points that we stress. Number one is access to funding, access to markets, the development of high quality goods and services, building and developing audiences. The way you would have seen the call being structured, um, it was really a lot about how does those initiatives and the organizations with their programs contribute to strengthening the creatives and also the artists, but giving also, for example, platform for more visibility, networking opportunities, also in internationally, because it's also about exposure for, for, for creatives. How can they get more exposure through such programs, which is again access to markets, but also funding, funding structures. Antes, uh, falar primeiro daquilo que é o escritório compartilhado que nós temos, a sediação de empresas, uh, um espaço onde os criativos possam trocar ideias ou cruzar as suas ideias com outras, outros criativos e possam também criar um intercâmbio, uh, possam criar novas parcerias, novas cooperações. E depois temos também Uh, ainda neste projeto, por causa dos estudos de gravação de música que temos e o estúdio de vídeo, de fotografia. This afternoon I was speaking with, with the grantees and what I was saying is that it's not only about the money, it's about the networks. Because the networks is our net worth for creatives here on, the, on, the, on, on, on this side of the continent. And I say that because um, there is so much that can be done um, that does not always include the exchange of currency and money. And so with Sound Connects Fund, what we continue to see is that beyond money, there are so many benefits. Collaboration alone is one of those. Ainda no âmbito do, do, do projeto, deste, finance, deste financiamento do Sound Connect da XIAB, Uh, nós temos uma parceria, uma colaboração com a Swaziland, onde levamos os artistas beneficiários deste projeto para fazerem uma colaboração com os artistas da Swaziland. E da mesma forma, os artistas da Swaziland vêm para Moçambique e estes mesmos fazem parte ou fazem uso do nosso estúdio. Sabe, people, aqui de Hood Bros. Estou muito feliz com essa oportunidade que a Bush vai estar a trazer aqui em Moçambique para o collaboration um entre Moçambique e Suazilândia, quanto Billy, que vai ser um benga isto. Pá. O 
Kalaba Nation was essentially about bringing together different territories, nations across the continent. Well, there was an open call. Uh, we have two collaboration events. Uh, so the two participating kind of projects involve Eswatini and Mozambique on the one side with Tobile and the Hood Bros. And on the other side, we have uh, Morena Leraba and Mokumba uh, from uh, Lesotho and Zimbabwe respectively. Kolobo Nation is of importance because of the fact that it opens the borders that we created. Through music, they are then cracked, they are then brought down. It didn't only bring down borders between Mozambique and Eswatini, it also brought down the border between music genre. I always see this as, as like sharing because um, Mukumba, before we, we met, uh, they have a, a big following, more than us. They've been playing a lot of festivals across the world. Um, we are an upcoming a younger band, and we've also been doing much, honestly, um, playing internationally as well. And so, we eventually, we are going to merge audiences in a way because um, people who love Mukumba, they're like, hey, who, who are these ones, you know, featuring Mukumba? So far, we have funded about 36 organizations across the SADC region. Um, and these projects vary from film, dance, music, animation, circus, fashion. So quite a diverse uh, group of uh, projects that we've supported so far. You are not supposed to be anywhere near this pond. The dog speaks! My name is Quirk. In Zimbabwe, we have Two projects that we have funded that focus on uh, animation, uh, one of them being Quack Quack Duck, uh, which is a project that really uh, focuses on uh, exchange of skills, uh, teaching artists how to script write, how to produce, edit, and so forth. It's been quite exciting to see how the producers of Quack Quack Duck have worked with the, the education department uh, to really distribute these feelings uh, within the school. The project that was funded by the Sounds Connect Fund is called the Music Business School. We are very excited about the Music Business School because basically the project came into being as a result of having implemented the Music Crossroads Academies project since 2012. When we made this application to the Sounds Connect Fund, what we realized was that um, these alumni that were coming out of the project, the products that were coming out of the program of the Certificate in Professional Music and the dip Diploma in Professional Music were very good musicians, well-known, reputable, but the challenge was that they couldn't make money. We then realized that the skill of business is a totally different skill altogether. So we decided to establish the Music Business School. We have been able to define and articulate uh, the different roles of business people along the music value chain, which I think is very important and which was kind of lacking in anybody who's kind of, most people who are practicing in the music industry, especially the young people, which, are, which is our target group, the youth. This program, unlike the Certificate in Professional Music and the Diploma in Professional Music, has had quite a significant attendance and uh, enrollment of female uh, students. So Tatenda is uh, amongst some of our female uh, beneficiaries. And so Tatenda uh, has two programs that I really like that I think I should mention. Um, she works with young musicians and she offers uh, tutorial lessons on music. And then she also has what she calls the Kumbira Lounge. It was one of her projects that she did as a way of trying to um, increase visibility of the Mbira. When we had our second module, organizational development, uh, you know, there are things whereby at the back of your mind you just think you know, um, I'm Tatenda, 
and I'm a musician, and maybe yeah, I'm a brand, but when you started the module organizational development, that's when I actually realized that I can be a brand, I can be an organization, but what kind of an organization can I be, would I want to be? So for me, it was so enlightening to, to know about all that stuff, going to copyright law, intellectual property. These were uh, issues I was always curious to know about and being edified about intellectual property, copyright law, it has actually made me realize I took the right course. What projects like Sound Connects One do is show that you can have the confidence that when you put, when you invest, something good will happen. And this is why now we are seeing also government, public sector, they are all coming on board. Um, and they are very curious to know how we are running Sound Connects Fund. The questions we often hear, um, how do you make sure that the money is put into good use? And so you can see that there hasn't been a lot of awareness that this is an industry that is ready and full of competent people, great ideas, and people on the ground who actually understand what needs to happen for things to change. And I think with more and more investment in civil society and public, um, the, the public sector, private sector coming together, we can see much, much more. And the most important thing is that the bar goes high. project um, it's named fashion meet sound um, and we decided on that because our biggest focus is fashion but in fashion you need music so we decided to collaborate with local Namibian artists to create music for the runway at the same time we hosted different master classes and networking sessions across the country where we brought in different creatives and just have a conversation around the creative industry how to better it and also to create some synergy within the industry to work together and also just pull together to create one industry then working in silos that we've been doing for a very long time one of the things that we noticed as show producers that um, our designers would always have international sounds on the runway. Then it came a copywriting issue and we're like, ah, when we go into YouTube, we can't have the things because now it's silent. So then we said, okay, fine, we are trying to build the industry, we're trying to promote local designers, but why don't we also promote local sound or local musicians or local producers? Um, so that was the main takeaway of why we decided to do the project. The way MT7 Vindic Fashion Week has grown, you know, being part of the Sounds Connect Funds project, uh, you can see through the different collaborations that are coming through. Uh, because the number one is there are other corporates that are interested in working with us on similar projects, but focusing on skills development, especially the master classes that we've hosted. We have another uh, corporate that we're going to do the similar project with them under jewelry and diamonds. Another country where we had exciting project is Zambia. Uh, one of the examples is Seka Zambia. Um, and the project um, was partly incubation where they got a couple of organizations who were almost startup organizations uh, incubated within uh, the Sekia, Saka Zambia uh, project and uh, they gave them skills on business management, uh, registration of the organization, um, accounting and really being able to fully function as a business um, but also the skills transferred was, went further to now being on stage, uh, preparing for a performance, preparing for a show uh, and then in the end all these skills they put them together into uh, the Gula 2.0 uh, festival.
it is supremely important to place the value, the high value, uh, onto the arts and the, the cultural industries because in Africa, actually, they are right at the top of the revenue generators. We just don't know it because it's a largely informal market. But the UNESCO has said it. So many research um, uh, programs have confirmed that uh, um, across the world, there is no industry that employs as many young people as the sector. So whether it's happening now in Africa or not, the point is that it is a powerhouse for almost every strong economy everywhere. So as Africans, we need to embrace this. And we unfortunately um, live in a context where traditionally the support and the structures that need to be there for this industry to thrive are not as easily accessible as you would see in other spaces. Now the onus is on us, the artists, the organizations, the civil society to bring together positive change. Funding is necessary and a project like the Sound Connects Fund is necessary, but at the same time there need to be more sustainable funding structures within that are not necessarily coming from the global north and that's the same of valuing what is there also already from the inside. Lesotho also was one of the uh, countries that we had a couple of projects in there. Uh, and one of the great examples to mention uh, is um, Morija Museum, where they had um, a project that dealt with a bit of uh, animation filming, uh, as well as indigenous instruments. Um, building the instruments, teaching how to perform the instruments, um, and also really um, archiving the history around uh, heritage of these instruments. So this was also very interesting for us to see. Uh, also, there was quite a lot of participation from women, and we really appreciate that uh, the organizations that were funded are so inclusive in that manner. The Sun Connects Fund focus was within the nine countries, and two of those countries were Lusophone countries, who uh, speak Portuguese, um, and in one of these countries, particularly in Angola, we had one of the projects uh, from Movat, uh, which focus was really upscaling visual artists uh, with a series of workshops, uh, capacity building, skills transfer, and so forth. And um, in the end, also, the project gave artists access to new markets. What I've seen in some of the cases, uh, the organization participated in some of the Jovek Art Fair, uh, so that really also unlocked new opportunities for artists. Also, there was quite a great exhibition at Movad in, in Luanda, Angola. O nosso projeto contribuiu muito bem para para o a criar ao mercado criativo angolano porque nós conseguimos essencialmente dar espaço de trabalho digno para os artistas poderem construir os seus trabalhos, né? E isso foi importante para podermos eh, garantir que mais artistas se sintam inspirados em se candidatar no nosso programa e poderem ter a oportunidade de trabalhar em melhor os seus trabalhos. Isso também porque eu estive a dar orientação a estes artistas a conduzir os seus trabalhos. Isso foi essencial para que eles saíssem do programa como ótimos artistas para os próximos trabalhos. We've received quite a number of, um, you know, grants, but we've never actually received a grant that comes with the educational part. The Sound Connects Fund comes with this uh, special emphasis on monitoring and evaluation and capacity building. I write proposals and implement projects. I like the fun stuff, but then I realize that it's a, if you want to really grow and scale your business in any industry, you can't just be focused on the fun stuff, you know? We understood that um, Sound Connects Fund was about empowering creatives and increasing the capacities of Southern African creatives, so it was so exciting. So I thought to myself, you know, since COVID, the pandemic really affected musicians and it, it um, affected their stage time, their income. So this was a tour that went to different towns, 10 different regions in Namibia, 
to have shows basically. So we had a headlining act native to that town and gave upcoming musicians from that town um, a chance to open for the headlining musician. Sound of Nam has contributed to the cultural and creative industry in Namibia by giving more visibility to smaller, lesser known towns. A highlight for me was um, seeing the amount of ideas, then seeing those who got the grant actually taking up the challenge, going in the field and working so hard to create these amazing things. It's just like amazing to see. Blowing like the sea, here we go now. You and me, going miles and miles, girl. I'll be there till kingdom come. Oh yeah, I heard Our project is titled Project Ngandu. Uh, we were part of the 2022 cohort. So um, it was an eight months project, which consists of um, us doing 10 episodes of Rock the Boat. So Rock the Boat, it's a music show that we film in Rundu on a cruising boat where we perform with um, a live band. So the episode um, are then shared on YouTube, Ngandu TV. The whole thing about Rock the Boat is we sell the sunset. I believe we have the best sunset in the world, literally. Um, nobody can tell me otherwise. I've been thinking about that one time lately Think about that one time uh, Come on over, put it on me daily You know, when they tell us, oh, but you'll be performing on the Kavango River, it sounds so bizarre, but when you see it, it fits so well. So I just, you know, I hope that the any, you know, girl child, boy child at home particularly is looking at this and, and understanding that it's all possible to create and create beautifully. In the entertainment or showbiz, we have realized that a lot of brands want to get on board if they see that others are also uh, affiliated with what you do. When we are approaching other um, corporate brands here in the country, they are willing to listen to us now because they are like, if Sound Connects Fund is funding you guys, you must be doing something right. So that endorsement has really, because now um, the grant has stopped but the people that we have engaged, uh, the corporates that we have engaged, are still open to work with us. I'm an artist myself. I think for me, if anything is of great importance, is to live a fruitful life. You know, be able to buy a home, buy a car. And in the past, I've seen this as a big challenge for artists. Uh, we live from hand to mouth, you live from gig to gig, you live from one sale of an artwork to another. To really, through this project, um, be able to share skills that would make their life sustainable, uh, but also make the organizations themselves sustainable. I'm so happy that the targeted SADC for this specific grant because like it's called capacity building. Our capacities have been built. A new brand has, has been born. It's like a, a wake up call to local governmental institutions um, that deal with arts because now they are seeing that an international organization sees value in the local creative space. Um, maybe let's also see what these guys are seeing and support them. We are so proud that we are one of the very few, if not the only one, the only African organization that is a lead in this entire um, ACP EU program. And that's such a big win for Africa, I think, because we know that there are plans for the EU and for the funders to continue working on the continent. But one key requirement for everyone is a sustainable and strong and competent partners on the ground. So we feel that as the Music in Africa Foundation, we are also saying, yes, it's possible.
Kira kuisa kuka, 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 kira kuisa kuka